To balance this equation, zinc plus iron 3 nitrate, we need to count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We'll start with zinc. We have one of those, and then iron, we have one of those. But for the NO3 here, it's a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. We have it here, and it stays together in the reaction. We have it here. So we can make this equation a lot easier to balance if we just say we have one nitrate times the three, three nitrate ions. On the product side, we have one zinc, one iron, and two times the one nitrate here, we have two nitrate ions. It makes it a lot easier to balance when we just have these smaller numbers to deal with. It looks like what I'm going to have to do is get this nitrate here to be an even number. So if I put a two in front of the iron three nitrate, I have the three nitrates times two. That'll give me six nitrates. So now I have an even number. One times the two, now I have two iron atoms. But that's okay. If I put a three in front of the zinc nitrate, I have the two nitrates here times three. That'll give me six nitrates. Those are balanced. One zinc times three, three zincs. But now it's pretty easy to balance. I need to have two iron atoms on this side, put a coefficient of two, one times two, that equals two, and I need to have three zincs. So I'll put three here, one times three, that gives me three zinc atoms. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility when we have a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides. If we just counted this one item, that makes the balancing much quicker, less prone to error. Either way, you get the same answer, just a little bit easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Zn plus FeNO3. Thanks for watching.